are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. Kings demanding change cause we believe we can Right, right. All right. So let's say, guess what? Anytime you want some clothes, you're going to have to go outside of your nation of people to get it. All right, keep reading. And in what of all things? Guess what? I'm going to ask you the same question I just asked them. What, what, what can we get from our own people? Name something that we can get from our own people. Uh, dollars. Huh? Dollars. See, all y'all saying stuff like that. But are you right about that? Because we, gonna, we don't want to teach each other the knowledge about these scriptures. See what I'm saying? But other than that, we got to go for our people to do what? Read that again. And then what? Of all things. So I said, guess what? Every single thing that you want and that you need to live on this earth, you're going to have to go outside of, my pe outside of your people to get it. We're going to have to go to another a nation of people to get it. Right. Like what? What's what some things we need that we need as a people? Hey, left. What's some things we need? Anything, name something. Uh, <laughs> if, 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 if you want a car and you, and you need a uh, 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 auto loan, who you got to go to? Wait a minute, you got to go to the bank, right? Do our people own any bank? Do we give each other loans? No. If, if, we want a, if we want a college degree, who we got to go get a student loan from? Yeah, right? Everything, the root of everything, when we want a driver's license, who we got to go to? We got to go to them. Guess what? If one of us wants to drop dead today, our, our people got to go and declare, get a, 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 certificate, a death certificate to, 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 to certify that we dead. Right. We can't just say we dead or I'm going to bury them. No, we got to go get a death certificate. And then we got to go to them and get a, 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 a funeral set up and all that. Right. All right? So guess what? That's one of the curses. So guess what? Anything that you need, you're going to go outside of your race of people to get it. Right. right. That's part of the curses. That only fit us as a nation of people. Right. All right. The nations got their own land, they got their own rules, and got their own resources. But us, breathe. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh huh. So guess what? What you said, bro? Guess what? It say that yoke of iron was gonna get put upon our neck. Is it still on our neck today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What y'all say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's on us, but not physically. Well, watch what the scripture says. It's about to say exactly what y'all just said. Watch this, read. Until he have destroyed thee. So let's say, guess what? That yoke of iron fit will be on our neck physically until we be destroyed mentally. Right. right. So right. Now, now we got a mental yoke on our uh, neck. Right. All right? Because look at our people. Bro, we, 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 we tell them they're the greatest people on the earth. They don't want to hear. They were, I people worry about every other people. That's right. 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 That's what today we just go to and fro. We, we, don't, we don't know where we came from. We don't know where we going. We don't even look at these different things. So guess what? Now we are mentally destroyed. Think, think about a dog. It's called a breaking process. Think about a dog. When you get a dog as a puppy, right? You walk on with that leash. When you take that collar off his neck, what does the dog do to you? Go wild. Huh? Go wild. I'm saying, do, do he leave your sight? He might run around the area, but he gonna stay around you, right? Yeah, yeah. he gonna stay around you. Same yeah. thing with us. When they took them leaves off to us, guess what? They already broke us. They didn't worry about us all uh, having a, a revolution or nothing like that. Right. Because we was already broke. Right. All right. right. It's called a Willie Lynch. All right. But guess what? The Lord, the Lord caused that to happen to us because guess what? We went off in the sin. All right. So now, 
Huh? By the bus station? I don't know. Yes, I hear. Okay, okay. But all right. So now, now let me ask y'all a question. So, so knowing that we are the, the biblical Israelites, because you, you believe that, right? What about you, bro? You believe that, right? All right. So watch this here. Give me Deuteronomy 10 to 12. All right. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And guess what? It's much more. What's, before you get that, give me uh, 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 Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Because guess what? It, 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 it's great to know that you are Israel. All right? Because guess what? It ain't no power knowing you are African American. It ain't no power knowing you are Haitian. It ain't no power knowing you are Puerto Rican. But guess what? It's power in knowing you are Israelite. That's right. All right. But you got to manifest that power. All right? But watch this. Read this. Let me show you. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. Bring it up. Now are a holy people unto the Lord thy God. So guess what? God called us to be holy. Y'all know what it means to be holy? Yeah. yeah. Uh, separated from this world. Right. right. Dead on point. So guess what? He called us to be separate from all the other nations on the earth. Right. right. All right. But today we commingled in with the nations. We want to do what they want to do. A lot of our sisters blind their hair because they're born with blind hair. All right. A lot, of, a lot of us do what? Smoke cigarettes and do drugs because they smoke cigarettes and do drugs. Right. But the Lord called us to be separate from them, meaning don't do nothing that they do. Don't touch nothing they do. I, I gave y'all I gave y'all what I want y'all to do. I gave y'all laws that I want y'all to follow. I gave y'all the way of life that I want y'all to abide by. Alright? But keep reading. The Lord thy God uh -huh. has chosen thee. He had did what? He has chosen thee. Come on. To be a special people unto himself. Oh, we got what he chose you to be special. You are, uh, what's your name again? Rashid. What's your name? Bonte, to be special. Alright? But what's your nationality? You don't know? Alright? So guess what? He called y'all to be special people unto himself. Right. That's right. Thing. And guess what? Y'all should love that thing, bro. He called us to be special, bro. Keep reading. Above all people. Above what? All people. So guess what? We not equal to the nations on the earth. That's right. The Lord called us to be above all nations right. on the earth. That's right. Understand that. Read it again. Above all people uh -huh. that are upon the face of the earth. So guess what? With, with that, guess what? With, with, with that, with knowing who you are, guess what? It comes with responsibility. Right. All right. It's more. It's more to just just to talk. You got to walk the walk too. You see what I'm saying? You got, you got to be a light to shine for your people. I like that love and talk, love and action. All right, so guess what? Now let's see what God's require of us. Because y'all love God? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right? All right, let's see. Give me that. Uh, read, uh, give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Let's see. Because guess what? Matter of fact, before you give me that, give me 1 Samuel 2 and 3. 1 Samuel 2 and 3. Yeah, but you know, some people don't know what love is. Guess what? We're going to show them. We're going to show them what love is. We're well, we, we about to show y'all what love is right now. Right. All right? Because guess what? Our definition of love ain't the same definition of God's love. Yeah. Love to us is something touchy and, and feely and emotions. Right. All right? But God God ain't talking about emotions. Talking about the commandments. That's right. 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 Read that. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. Yeah. Talk no more so exceedingly proud. What did God say? Talk no more so exceedingly proud. So God said, guess what? You you are you so you are you 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 so called black Hispanic and native. He said, guess what? I don't want y'all to talk no more. I, I don't want to hear the talk. All right? But read what he say. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. Said, don't be arrogant. Read. For the Lord thy God is a God of knowledge. So guess what he said. Guess what? I'm a God of knowledge. All right. And, and once you come into knowledge that know you were Israelite, you got to come into the knowledge of God, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah, right. But what else he said? Read. And by him, uh -huh. actions are weighed. So God said, guess what? I don't want to hear the talk. He said, guess what? You know you were Israelite. Guess what? It's time to man up and show you something. That's right. 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 He said, guess what? I'm not a man. I'm not. He said, guess what? I want to see action. I'm going to put your actions on a beam. Y'all ever seen one of them beams? Uh, 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 like a little scale? Scale. Yeah. So guess what? He said, I want your actions to weigh down that scale. Right. I don't I don't want your talk to weigh down that scale. I want to see that action weigh down that scale. All right, so let's, let's put some action in place. Give me first Corinthians. Oh, give me love first, because he said some people want to see what love is. First, first, John 5 and 3. First John, chapter 5, verse 3. Come on. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. The love of God is not emotional and feelings, all right? But we're going to see what it is. Read. That we keep his commandments. So like the brother said earlier, 
live. The love of God is the keeping of his commandments. So if you love God, guess what you gonna do? You gonna keep his commandments. You love God. All right? you, you love and his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not hard to do. All right, so guess what? The Christian church taught us that we can't do the commandments, but that's a lie. It's been before you just say that following the commandments of God. Right? Wow. It's white person. Do, wow, that's you know, sad. White person. But when he deals with his brothers, if y'all so so down with God like that, and asked you for something yeah. easy, you would have went over there and got me something easy. Bro, here, bro. Did you ask nobody at all? My brother. Y'all ain't real. You know what I'm saying? Verse two. Start at verse two. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2. Start at verse 1. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 1. Come on. Be ye followers of me. Even as I am a follower of Christ. Paul said, follow me, because guess what? I follow Christ. Paul said, I'm a true Christian. I, I, I walk in the way of Christ. So he said, follow me as I follow Christ. Read. Now I praise you, uh -huh. brethren, uh -huh. that ye remember me in all things. Come on. And keep the ordinances as I delivered them. So to guess you. what? Ordinance is, 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 is another word for law. Alright? So we say keep this ordinance as I'm about to bring it to you. Alright? Read. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. So let's say guess what? The head of the Israelite man is Jesus the Christ. So guess what? God set up order on this earth. All right? So Jesus Christ is the head of us. Understand that. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Any of y'all brothers married? Yeah. Girlfriends? Girl? Okay, we're going to touch on that. So he said, guess what? The head of the Israelite woman is the Israelite man. Right, right. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So he said, guess what? The head of Jesus the Christ is the Most High God. That's order that God set up on the earth. Right. Guess what? You can't get to the Heavenly Father without Christ. Right. All right? So the order is God, the Most High God, Jesus the Christ, the Israelite man, and the Israelite woman, then the kids. That's the order that God set up on earth. All right? And guess what? Today, we are out of order. Our household's out of order. Our community out of order. We are out of order as a nation of people. But today, guess what? We bring it back order. All right? My older, old school brother, we send order back on this earth, bro. And we need you to lead example. All right, keep reading. Verse four. Uh huh. Every man praying or prophesying, uh huh, having his head covered, uh huh, dishonoreth his head. So guess what? It say every man that's praying or in the midst of prophecy. Why y'all can't give me that knee? I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Why y'all can't give me that knee? From right over there. I'm hungry. What that? What that talking about? And that man right told me he couldn't help me. Guess what? We about to feed you right here. Sit, sit. Bring it up! Right. Feed right. Feed me. Feed me. Right. Feed me. Right. Feed me. Right. You heard what I said, bro? So what that's talking about? Man, y'all got Jesus in right. your life. Pray without Pray without Jesus in your life. You would have went over there really and got me something to eat. First Corinthians. Hold your feet. Hold your feet, bro. You about to eat Jesus. right now. Hold your feet. All right. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying. So every man praying, so when you praying and prophesying or in the midst of prophecy, but you know what prophecy is, right? What prophecy? Yeah. What prophecy? Yeah. 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 Revelation chapter 19 verse 10. Come on. Yeah. And I fell at his feet to worship him. Uh -huh. And he said unto me, Come on. See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Come on. Worship God. Read. For the testimony of Jesus you, is the spirit of prophecy. So let's say the testimony of Jesus and Christ is the spirit of prophecy. So it's like whenever you're reading about the scriptures, guess what? You in the midst of prophecy. So what we're doing right now, this is prophecy. That's right. Right now, you in the midst of prophecy. Right. right. You understand? All right. Go back to Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. Come on. Every man praying or prophesying having his head covered. Every man praying in the midst of prophecy. Having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. Who, who is your head? Christ. Christ. So if, if, you, if you got your head covered, your head on in the midst of prophecy, what you doing? Sin. Sin. 
Oh, oh, bro. That's right. Right. That right. That's Jesus right. Christ, bro. Alright, guess what? I'll praise this, bro. That's repentance, bro. That's how you show God you love him, bro. That's, that's right. right. That's putting your action for. Alright? And that's what we need. The most I looking for people who wanna put their actions right. Alright? Alright, now give me uh oh, let's bring out some other stuff, because I got a question. What what y'all what y'all brothers doing out here today? What y'all doing out here? Enjoying enjoying the festivities? Yeah, female. Females. Oh yeah, okay, okay. So y'all see y'all got girlfriends, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what I'm the Lord said. I'm single. I ain't got no girlfriend. Huh? I'm single. All in all for me. I'm single. I ain't got no girlfriend. You ain't got no girlfriend, but you still smashing stuff, right? Nah, I ain't not in a minute. I ain't in a minute. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you something that should scare you up. You're not know. smashing nothing no more. Hey, to bring it list. up. Right. That's what I'm gonna give you. <laughs> give me Hebrews 13 and verse 4. Bring it up. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Guess what? That's what it did to me. I ain't gonna lie. Once I learned these scriptures and I know I gotta get married, that scared me, bro. But watch this. Read that. Marriage is honorable in all. What did God say? Marriage is honorable in all. Why so the Lord honors marriage. Why y'all right? won't give me Read. that And the bed undefiled. Uh -huh. So that's what I said. Whatever you do with your spouse, the bed is undefiled. You can do whatever you want to do with your spouse. Everything that's lawful. All right? Read. But whoremongers, but whoremongers is girlfriends and boyfriends. Cause the whoremonger is the man that go from woman to woman to woman. It's men having sex with a woman without without paperwork. Right? Read. And adulterers. Adulterers. So those who go outside of their marriage. Read. God will judge. God will what? Judge. So guess what? If you got a girlfriend, or, or if you smashing something, you got some side chicks or boo things or late night creeps or whatever, God said he gonna judge you if you don't repent from it. Right. Right. That's right. right. That? Yes, What's some ways you think he can judge us? Bring it up. I think I can get judged. Yeah, I can't him with that bullshit. Yeah, by anything. Huh? By anything, by anything. I'm about to show y'all, bro. But I, I, want, I, want, I, want, I want to put it in y'all heads and never, so y'all won't do that thing again. Yeah. That's what it said, the fear of the Lord is going to give you wisdom. Right. Right. So once you start to fear the Lord, that's going to give you wisdom. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Come on. Also, every sickness. Every what? Every sickness. What's some sickness? Oh, matter of fact, he reads. And every plague, uh -huh, which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. them will the Lord bring upon thee. So, guess what? It said, guess what? Every sickness and every plague. That's not written in this book of law, what the Lord bring upon us. If HIV. Y'all brothers want to get HIV? If what, what, what about, uh, 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 they got something called super gonorrhea now. Y'all brothers want to get super gonorrhea? Hey, but it's Guess what? They, they got something. No, that you talk to y'all was right. Why that gonorrhea that you might have now, they might don't got no right. antibiotic yeah. pill to get rid of right. that thing. Right. But you, All right. But you don't get nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? So but guess what? The Lord said, guess what? If you don't repent from that, this is something that he might smite you with. That's right. right. This might be your judgment. Man, right. bring my Bible so guess what? That, 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 read it again. Bro. Let it soak in. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Uh-huh. Also, every sickness uh -huh. and every plague. What? General warts. HPV. You, you, y'all want to, y'all want some warts on y'all lips? You know what I'm saying? So that, that, hey. Y'all want pop, some pop, warts pop, on y'all stuff? Pop. I know, hey, there's oh, yeah. some crazy oh, stuff out there, bro. There's some crazy stuff I out there. Matter, matter of fact, y'all living in, in Georgia. Atlanta is rated top five for HIV. Right, right. They say you can flip a coin for how you for, for, for the chances of catching it. That's some scary stuff, bro. That's some scary stuff. All right, but if you got it, shit, you just got to repent. And the Lord, he, he going to deal with you how he deal with you. But if you don't got it, hey, don't just scare you up to not get it. Alright? You read it? Which is not written in the book of this law. But guess what? You, you don't find them diseases written in the Bible. Yeah, but you don't but find all over the earth. what you saying, but you didn't break it down what, to what, what you wanted to go. White people is highest in those diseases. White? Is the so called white people the highest in HIV? Just like white was the first people in slavery. Did you know that? No. What, what, what about the uh, uh, Chinese? 
You you don't hear no high yeah, numbers, bro. When you look at the chart, bro. When you look at the chart, bro, we the highest number in all them diseases, bro. That's because guess what? That's because guess what? The Lord is judging us, bro. The nation's not being loved, huh? He chastising us, bro. Alright, so guess what? This, this should make us get ourselves get our act together. Huh? Yeah, guess what? There's other stuff that happened behind that. That's a, I'm gonna name something. Child support. A lot of our brothers on child support, right? Yeah. Some some brothers can they guess what? Some brothers got to uh, they got to go work at the jailhouse and uh just to catch up on their child support. They got to turn themselves in every night. You, you think that's the way to live? Every night you got to turn yourself in because you want to have a bunch of kids out of wedlock. You see what I'm saying? So that guess what? By you having being married and you got a righteous woman, that's a way to stop that cycle. Because guess what? That's one of the problems that's plaguing our community. Because guess what? what? What happened to the young man? I'm gonna show y'all. Give me, give me all Isaiah three and twelve. This, this, this what happened to our young man, bro? Y'all see it, bro? What, what, what side of town y'all from? West side. West side. All right. Shoot, I think I seen something happen on the numbers the other day. Somebody got killed on 41st and you know, uh, up in the area somewhere. That, that's daily, bro. That's, that's monthly. I watch this and read that. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Come on. Read it out. As for my people, children are their oppressors. God said, yes, well, as for my people, Come on. we get the children, the youth generation oppressing us, bro. Read. And women rule over them. And guess what? A lot of our youth are in gangs. A lot of them gang banging. A lot of them breaking into the cars, breaking into houses, robbing hey. us, picking up the guns, shooting us. Guess what? That's because of that's because of the single parent household, or the father the father not leading the yeah. So guess what? When the kids raise up in a, in a righteous household, the chances of that is very slim. You see what I'm saying? So guess what? By us not being married and having sex, because you're gonna have a, it's chances of you getting a sister pregnant having sex, right? So by you not being married, it's a lot of it's, it's nothing nothing. Well, the child can be the child can be all right, but. It's a lot of evil that happened to our community just by that one by that one law. By us breaking that one law, it has a lot of evil behind it. Y'all understand? Yeah. All us as people. Huh? We do. Uh, it hurt all us as people. Yeah, it hurt all us, bro. Right. It hurt all us. All right, keep reading. Oh, my people, they which lead thee. I'm gonna stop, stop, stop from the top again. All right. Isaiah chapter three, verse twelve. Uh huh. As for my people, uh -huh. children are their oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. And say women rule over them. So guess what? A lot of us, we like to run the streets. We like to, we like to steal parlay. We, 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 we have a child and we still out ripping and running. We still parlay. Or we done got locked, we done committed a crime and done got locked up. Or whatever. We done got the sister pregnant, now we trying to get her to get an abortion. But she didn't want to get one. You see what I'm saying? And now, now, the, child got the, now the child here. So it say, guess what? The woman ruling over them, because a lot of the men are not in the household. All right? They get more high jobs, or, like high jobs, you know? Females, they get a more better jobs. Yeah, yeah, society kind of help them out a little bit, but what I'm saying is, when, 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 when we don't marry the sisters, they end up ruling over them, and then a woman can't raise a man. It take another man to raise a man. Right. Right? It's some of us that still turn out good over time once we grow and go through this and that. But if we dare to show us the right way, hey, show them how to work on a car, or teach them a trade, or show them how to build their credit, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Keep them away from the streets, give them stuff to do, all right? Then that's what, we can stop that. Versus the woman trying to, you know, once you get a certain age, man, your mama can't do nothing with you. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna talk back to her, you're gonna run the streets, you're gonna do what you wanna do. You're gonna have all kind of women up in the house. It's just gonna be a revolving cycle, all right? But guess what, that's, that's, that's what can happen. Y'all understand that? So now it's time to repent, man. Give me, give me some uh, 94. So I, I got a question. I got a question. Y'all ready to repent or what? Yeah, sure. Cause guess what? This ain't no game, bro. We had a spiritual, we had a really spiritual battle, bro. The nations know who we are, bro. Everything they doing is to keep us in the predicament we are not. Right. Understand that. They know who we are, bro. They That's know right. we are God's chosen. That's right. Everything they got set up is to keep us from finding out we are His chosen. Right, Keep right. us from applying to what we're supposed to do. See, the treatment of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites.
walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our show, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.